All right, welcome to my League of Villains bundle gameplay and review. So this is wave three of the My Hero Academia bundles. And by the way, right now, as of this very video, wave one, as well as wave two are all in the item shop. So every single My Hero Academia skin is currently available. Now, I personally don't know much about My Hero Academia, but I have a friend that absolutely loves it, and he's going to help me do the review. So we're going to see together if any or all of these are worth it, because they're a little bit expensive. All three of these skins cost 2,000 V-Bucks a piece. So that's 6,000 V-Bucks for everything, but the bundle itself is cheaper. So if you buy the bundle, it's only 3,800. So obviously that's a huge discount rather than spending 6,000 V-Bucks individually. So first up, we've got Himiko Toga, and she comes with the Transform Containers Back Bling, Toga's Glee, which actually looks really, really clean. This is probably one of my favorite brand new emotes we've had in a while. And then her blade. Now she also has a secondary style where you can take her mask off. Then we've got Tomura Shigaraki, and he, is pretty creepy, I'm not gonna lie. His secondary style is hood on, so that's kinda cool if you wanna cover up his hair. And then he's got a little action figure back bling, it looks like. And then the D-pad decay. And remember, my friend is gonna explain what all this stuff means, because I have no idea. And then the decaying scythe. So he's got a lot of decay about him, I guess. So I'm anxious to figure out more about these characters. And lastly, we've got the Dobby Pack, or Toya Todoroki. So, I'm not sure why this one's so much, because he doesn't have as much stuff as everyone else. He doesn't have any styles, he only has a back bling, and he only comes with the pickaxe as well. So Dobby must be a real fan favorite for them to charge 2,000 V-Bucks, but we're gonna find out. Let's get my friend in here, and we'll jump right into the review. Okay, so this is my friend Dark Legend, the My Hero Academia extraordinaire so he's gonna teach me some stuff about these skins and we're gonna see if they're worth purchasing again we're starting with Dobby here okay so first of all tell me why his face and his arms look like that what is that what's um, going on here? now I know you've seen nothing of the show but this is gonna go into like spare uh, not manga spoiler territory but like anime uh, spoiler territory basically okay. his work was too hot to control he burned himself every time he trained. Oh my! And then, like, just he went up to a mountain where him and his father trained. He he was crying, and his flames came out and wouldn't stop. So he he burned his body. And now he looks like this. And can he talk? Because it doesn't look like he has a mouth. Yes, he can. He can talk. But you see how like he has purple things in his eyelids. You yeah, I do. Yeah, they they were burnt off. He can't cry anymore. In the show, oh, he cries literal blood. Goodness, that is crazy. Okay, so first of all, let's check out his aim down sights and his accessories, and then we'll learn a little bit more here. So, aim down sights is a little bulky. His hair is kind of spiky, so it takes up a lot of the screen. I mean, it's not too bad. I've definitely seen way worse than this. But he's kind of a taller character. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad overall. Back bling looks pretty good. Looks like a lighter with a blue flame. Got some nice physics. Let's see. Normally these open and close when you run. Nope. It if doesn't. you go from like a high height, um, it like closes and opens more. Clo Does it close I all the way? That. Ever? Well, no. I don't. I don't think all the way. It, it's like close to the point, but not all the way. Okay. So clearly it's animated. Let's see. Hold on. I thought I saw some sparks fly out of there. Uh, occasionally. Let me try the pickaxes here. So the pickaxes do look pretty sweet. They have the blue flame inside as well. Oh, nice contrail though. That's pretty sweet. Let me check the splash. This cape looks pretty good as well. It's got some physics. That's nice. How about in the dark? Oh yeah, so the cell shaded skins, at least on my map, they turn a bright color. Contrail still looks amazing. See the splash in the dark. Okay, and let me take a look from the front here. And so, other than the back bling and the pickaxe, nothing that glows or is animated. Let me just get an a limb here. We'll see if anything happens. I'm looking at the back bling in particular. Hmm. 
So overall, I think this character actually does look pretty sweet. But is he 2,000 V-Bucks sweet with only getting a back bling as well as a pickaxe? I'm not 100% sure. He's got to be a real fan favorite to be willing to shell out 2,000 V-Bucks when all the other skins get more stuff. Unless, of course, you buy the bundle. Okay, so what else can you tell me about this? Anything that the audience needs to know to make it um, worth 2,000 V-Bucks? No. <laughs> if, if they've seen the show and, and they like Dobby that much, they'll they'll spend it. Okay, so what about the blue flame? It looks like a highlight of that's, his character here. Yeah, that's that's his quirk. Like I said, his quirk okay. is like that's like the that's the hottest flame. It's like it burns at like two thousand degrees like Celsius. Okay. That's pretty hot. <laughs> so based on the show, do you think they portrayed him good here in Fortnite? Like does he look just like he does in the show oh he yeah they definitely nailed it like okay like show to like anime to fortnite yes they nailed it okay i just wish like this will when you inevitably watch the show you'll learn why but they didn't give him his white hair his white hair is like oh okay. would have been a cool style to have so you agree that he's a little overpriced despite how cool he is in the show yes i will agree 1800 should have definitely been his price point okay Nice. Okay, next up we are doing Toga. So she does have two styles. This is the mask off that my friend is wearing here. Actually, stay right there. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. And then I've got the mask on. So from your perspective, a little bit does change because you can see the strap where the mask goes. And clearly on his version, you can't see that. So it does change quite a bit, especially when you aim down sights as well. So let's take a look here. First of all, from the front again. So she's got a scarf that looks like a mask as well. And she's got a little bit of green all over the place, green and blue. Her hair looks pretty interesting. Let's see the aim down sights here. Okay, so the hair kind of moves when you aim in. Let's see if this back bling does anything. Uh, a little bit of physics when you jump. Take a look at her pickaxe. So it's just a single blade. I'm gonna guess this has the Thor's pickaxe animation. Let's see. It does not. She does not throw it from hand to hand, so that's not bad. A little bit of a contrail there. Sharp sounding. Let's check if there's a splash. Okay, yeah, there is. It's uh, black and white. That's interesting. And in the dark here, let's take a look from the front. So another character that does not have any animation or glow. Interesting. Let's see. Let me pickaxe him real quick. Okay, nothing special there. How about getting in a limb? Watching the back bling. No, I didn't see any reactivity there. And what is her quirk? Um, it's transform. Basically, however long she drinks... Uh, blood for is how long she can like transform into a person and she has to like she has to love that person in order to like transform into oh, wait, them wait a minute she's like mystique like she can transform into a, another person yeah so basically if she sap if she saps your blood she can transform into you and how much she saps and drinks that's the form that's how long she can stay in that form for like that form of you Holy smokes! They should have gave her that ability then, just like Mystique. I have a, f I have a, I have a feeling that fell between like maybe like Chueisha or whoever has the copyright for that. Oh, uh, dang! That would have been nice, especially for people. Do you have Mystique? I do, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know a lot of people didn't play back then, so they didn't get her, and <laughs> that's a great skin. I mean, to be able to transform into any skin in the game, that's crazy. Okay, anything else about? Toga here we should talk about, or pretty good? She's not bad. I mean... Oh, wait, yeah, her emote. Hold on. Doesn't she have an emote? Yeah, Toga's oh, Glee. Oh, yes. Yeah. Can you do it, too? Let's see. Oh, my gosh, her face gets creepy. Oh, so you probably can't see that on mine, right? Because of the mask? No, I can't, but I, I know I know exactly like why that... Okay, do it. do it again. Let me see that. Wow, she gets devious and then a creepy grin. Okay, lastly, we've got Tomura Shigaraki here. So let me show you the accessories first, and then we'll learn a little bit more about him. So right off the rip, I thought this color scheme looks 
crazy awesome. Like, this jet black looks so good, as does the pickaxe. I am pretty impressed with this. Back bling seems to flow a lot as well. So I have the hood up. My friend's got the hood down. Let's take a look at the aim down sights. So this is the best aim down sights I've seen yet. But it might be a little different with the hood down. We'll check that out in a minute. And actually, my wrap goes quite nice with this, too. I just love that jet black color scheme. That is so clean. And then this pickaxe, it's obviously shaped like a scythe, but that red is just so vibrant, mixed with, like, that dark blue and black. Really cool. You can see the back bling does move a little bit. When you jump, it's got some physics as well. I was kind of hoping this back bling is going to be reactive, but from what I've heard, it's not. We'll find out in just a second. Let's take a look from the front. So he's pretty clean from the front as well. Looks like his mouth is sewn shut. Once again, no animation or glow on this character. Here's the pickaxe pullout sound. It's got an interesting sound. How about a contrail? Mm, it's almost like an after image. No real colors though. And a splash. Okay, so it's got the... Oops, sorry. It's got the same thing as Toga's. That black and white. A little bit of gold in there though. Let me turn the lights off. You can see a little bit of the red for the contrail. There's the splash again. Let's take a look one more time from the front. Nice light blue hair, a little bit of red eyes there. All right, let me get in a limb. Checking the pickaxe too. I'm watching the back lane, here we go. No. Nope. That'd been awesome if he raised his hands or made a noise or something. So when you run... Yeah, so it just looks like the back bling moves just a little bit. Nothing really special there. And it doesn't look like reactivity either upon getting the limb. Okay, so first of all, tell me what this back bling is. Why does so it look like a little action figure? <laughs> so basically it's not an action figure in the show. It's like a... It's like a bio-engineered, like, human. So basically, like, like the main, like, protagonist in the show, and, like a doctor, defile corpses and kind of, like, inject quirk into corpses. Ooh. And and that's what this is. Because, like, this... Okay, so a human body is not supposed to have more than one quirk. This one alone, I think, has... I think has two. Okay. He's creepy, so, though. Yeah, that's... Well, it's not exactly supposed to look pleasant. It's a corpse, pretty much. <laughs> okay. And so I didn't show his emote yet. It's called the D-Pad Decay. So what does this have to do with him? Um, his Basically, his quirk is decay. He just has to put five fingers on you anywhere, and you and you decay. You're, you're kind of like that controller. You decay. Oh, wow. You, you're, just, you're just gone like that. So he doesn't really ever use a controller in the show, right? That's just a Fortnite no, thing? No, but canonically, he is a gamer. He is. Oh, okay, okay. He's that's, a, he, that's awesome. he canonically plays League of Legends. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, and now, hold still, let me take a look at, it looks like his mouth is sewn shut. Is that right? Actually, he looks really old. Is he old? No, he's, he's, he's not old. He's like in his, he's like in his 20s. Okay, he's like but, his eyes are all wrinkly and stuff. Yeah, that's that's just that's just him. People, I think <laughs> Dobbyn calls us a few times in the show, but he he's literally called like crusty lips. Ooh. Like, crusty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I think I heard you say that they didn't do him right. Like, what's wrong with they? Him? Did, they mi they missed the feature, and I can. So basically, he has like arms like all up and like all around him like up and down like his face and stuff i sent you the i sent you the image if you want to like he has throw it up on screen and if you want to look at it but basically that's how he looked and like oh my through, yeah he, that's how he looked for like a majority of the show up until like season five holy even on his face i mean that is really creepy okay anything else about this character he's pretty sweet Minus the hands thing that they messed up. Or maybe couldn't put in for whatever reason. I like the Nothing emote. Else. He's, okay. he's just really a, a fan favorite. Nice. 
Let me swap to the hood down. Let me just see the aim down sights on that real quick. Hood up look really clean though. I actually really enjoyed that. Ah, so you can't see any of his face at all when you aim down sights. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the hood up. But visually, from an aim down sights perspective, it's pretty much the same. Make sure. I want to see this comment section lit up with Tabor Hill needs to watch My Hero Academia. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm getting to it. One of these days. It's on my to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That is the League of Villains bundle. Now, I was super impressed with all three of these skins. And after learning a little bit more about them as well, I'm even more impressed. In my opinion, these three are the best My Hero Academia skins. But if you don't like the villains then I can understand why you wouldn't like them. Not to mention they are all priced at 2,000 V-Bucks, as I mentioned. So Dobby, despite being cool, is definitely the most overpriced one. But if you plan on getting at least two of these skins anyway, you might as well just buy the bundle. However, if I could only pick one of these skins or recommend one of them, it would definitely be Tomura Shigaraki. He is by far my favorite. I think Togo is definitely my least favorite, but her emote was awesome. So I was just impressed all around, like I said, with all of these skins. So shout out to my friend Dark Legend for helping me understand these skins a little better. There you go. That's my full gameplay and review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time. Oh my god, knocked one. Nice. Okay. Storm hurty. Yeah, watch yourself. We're in the middle of this. Ah! It really hurts. I don't know movement. Got that guy. This guy's under the bunker. Man, we have like no cover here. Yeah. It's a 2v2. They're in the bunker. Be careful. On your left there. Pretty sure they're... Wait, are they in the bunker? I have no idea, but... Oh, no, this guy's knocked. Okay, it's a 2v1. Tell me this. We got this. I need... Yeah, he's right needles. here. Ah. Okay, dude. I got him. Let's go. Oh my lord. Bro, we clutched that up. Deep head decay. I, would, I was about to say, you, you definitely did that because I did absolutely not a thing. <laughs> I, That's okay. I, uh, carried by Tabor Hill again. <laughs> That's awesome.